and not has been is not been one time since we had something out since 2013 non-stop you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying you know it took a while and, you know yeah, for you it to catch on yeah you gotta understand we turned down a couple of situations because you know one thing i like about tico is you know he is own man he's not just an artist like all the business stuff behind the scenes, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's nothing that he just be like, okay, I don't want to know. You know what I'm saying? So, he had his own vision outside of us as a team, what we wanted, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, like, we could have been, we could have jumped the gun a year ago, you know, and said, okay, we're going to take this, we're going to take this situation right here, but being as though we're in a place that we, we you know, we're financially stable, plus the fact that we're confident in what he got going on, we, we turned it down. You know what I'm saying? You know that, you know that was in 2016. Fast forward one year later, same month, a situation that we wanted came through. You get what I'm saying? So patience is everything. You get what I'm saying? So that's what I tell artists. Like, yeah, sometimes it's gonna get rough. You know what I'm saying? But you know, if you feel, if you truly feel like you got something to offer to the game, I mean, it's tough it out. You get Amen. what I'm saying? Because it's gonna come. You know, it not, it, you know, like I said, a lot of people don't realize, man, you know, it's almost five years, man, 2013 to 2018. Mm -hmm. It's five years, man, this man been out here doing this. Five years, almost five years straight. Like I said, nonstop. Not one time, have, not one month since 2013 to 2018 did we not do a show, not have a song on the radio, not have something out. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, a lot of people don't know how to just say, okay, well, boom. Uh, I'm gonna give up after this year. I, I can't. I can't do this shit no more. You get what I'm saying? Like, I done did this shit for a year because it's struggling. And <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You talking five years? Yeah. That's a real business plan. You can't really make money if you in a business plan. You you, you don't make money your first year, your second year, your third year. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you know, I mean, even 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 in the beginning, you know, I say this to him. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy how when he first came out. And, you know, he was singing and doing, like, uh, you know, some people accepted it, but a lot of people were like, man, I don't know. You feel know what I'm saying? But right. he knew what he wanted to do. You feel know what I'm saying? So it took him consistently saying, okay, I'm going to show these people. Uh -huh. And then all of a sudden, it's funny, but all of a sudden, you hear other people who wasn't even on that wave, on that wave down the hill. Right. You feel know what I'm saying? That's, that's about just, you know, you believing in yourself enough to say, okay, I'm going to go outside the box. And whatever I had to deal with as far as criticism in the beginning, it's gonna it's, it's gonna soon fade away. You know what I'm saying? So you know that's why you know that's why I admire about him about him that you know he is old man. He never once followed the wave. I never had to worry about going into the studio. And he said, "I'm gonna sound like this right now." Right. He sound like T Go B. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't even go in the studio with him, but I know once he come out of that studio, I'm gonna hear something. And be like, okay, yeah, this is it. You feel what I'm saying? So you just got to get the people who believe in you. Like, not one time have I never not been on the road with this man. Not ever. Like I said, in five years. I don't care what it is. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because I believe in them that much. You get what I'm saying? Like, you have to find somebody who's going to believe in you just like you believe in yourself and who's going to be like, okay, well, I got to put my gas money in. I got to put this hotel money. I, I got to put this flight money in here. You know what I'm saying? Like I could have went out, and, I could have went out and bought some Gucci shoes. I could have went out and bought a new car. I could have went out and did some other things. But I believed in him enough to say, okay, I'm gonna take my own money, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get on this plane. I'm gonna pay for my own plane ticket. I'm gonna pay for my hotel room. I'm gonna pay for this gas. You know what I'm saying? It's the next level. Yeah, right. and that's the sacrifice that a, a lot of us in this game don't hmm. ain't willing to do. We want, we want all the benefits. We want to stand on stage. We want, we, we want the people to. To run up on us and say, okay, well, I'm Tigo B, I'm whoever, but we don't want to put the work in to get there. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and that's one thing, like I said, I admire about him. That he never once let me down or, or made me feel like, okay, well, goddamn, nigga, I'm putting my money out too with you, and you making me feel like a fool. Like, nah, man, that's what I respect about the man. And I, I go to the grave with him on this shit, you know what I'm saying? Because I believe in them that much, you know what I'm saying? So that's my advice to y'all, man. You know, find people who going to totally believe in you without a doubt. Okay, I believe in this man and I know what he's capable of doing. And I guarantee you, it may take a couple of years, but it's going to go up, you know what I'm saying? Like, this man been going on the radio in, North, in, in our city since 2013. Right. Consistently since 2013, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of people think, okay, well, boom. This man, it's, it was a lot of times people ask, man, why this man ain't signed if he done been on the radio? 
you gotta understand that it's more than just a radio thing now. You know what I'm saying? Like these folks is not money making money just off of artists being on the radio no more. These these folks looking at fucking stream numbers. They looking at views. They looking YouTube, at Instagram. Yeah. They looking. You know what I'm saying? They looking at the whole package versus just okay a radio thing. It ain't it ain't fucking. 2000 or 95 no more. When you get a fucking record, record on the radio, and bam, you made it. You get what I'm saying? And you made it. Like, nah, that shit don't mean nothing because truthfully, you got, you got some 18, 19 year old kid with fucking god dang on 25 million views and they looking at it, okay, well this kid fucking 18, 19 years old, he got 25 million views. On his own. This, this is who we going with. You know what I'm saying? Because we need those 25 million. Yeah, you feel them? They, they, they latching on. They not making artists no more. Right. They latching on to what's going on. You get what I'm saying? Right. So, you know, you just got to get into the industry, man, and learn this shit, man, and know that shit. Bro, let me tell y'all. We done sat in, we done sat in the room with plenty of labels, and some of them didn't get it. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We had one, I'm not going to call no names, but we had one label head to say, okay, well, I love the music, but I don't know what to do with it. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. It be like that, though. I'm telling you the straight up truth. I don't know what to do with it. Well, we ain't for you then. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's, it's about building your own shit, man. That's what this shit about. As long as you got people around you that believe in you, this shit going to happen. Sooner or later, it's going to happen. I promise you that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Niggas like to talk a lot. I knew you said that. I just let the money talk. Girl, I don't play.